everybody! It's time for math. Now, prior to this, you worked with Miss Fratt to work on the number of the day. We're going to continue to build on that as we talk about tens and ones and groups of ones. We are going to be doing Module 4, Lesson 3 in our Eureka Math Book. Let's get going! All right, to get started, you will need your Eureka Math Book, a pencil, place value chart, and your place value blocks. Please go ahead and get your materials now. All right, before we get started, I wanted to shout out some friends. Take a look at Kanaya, Kalia, Candelise, and Alicia's work. They really clearly showed groups of tens and ones. If you would like us to show off your work, make sure, to, make sure to send a picture to your teachers. All right, let's check out today's objective. All aboard, shall we? I can rate a number as a 10, tens place, and some ones, ones place, or all ones. So, let's read that again. I can write a number as a 10, and some ones, or all ones. For example, 35 is the same as 3 tens and 5 ones. 35 is also the same as 35 ones. Whoa! That's what we're going to be able to do today. Take a look at this picture. What do you notice? Hmm, how many bowling pins do you see? Whisper to yourself. Tell me in my ear. I notice. Okay, let me show you what I noticed. I noticed that there was two groups of 10 bowling pins. I also noticed that there were six extra bowling pins, the ones being knocked over. Two tens and six ones is the same as 26 bowling pins. Take a look at this number, 10. 10, you got 10 fingers, or a group of 10 fingers. What does the one stand for? Hmm, think? Whisper to yourself? Tell me in my ear. Okay, what does the zero stand for? Think? Whisper to yourself? The zero stands for? Whisper to me. The zero stands for? Okay, great predictions. That's right, the zero, the one stands for one group of 10. The zero cent stands for zero extra ones. Hmm, take a look at my picture now. I'm representing the same number, 10. There's 10. There could be one group of 10, or you could have 10 ones. Do that with me. Show me 10 ones. Show me a group of 10. They are the same. That is equal. Equal. 10 ones. Show me those 10 one counting fingers. And a group of 10 are the same. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to be using my place value um, blocks to help show you a group of 10 and 10 ones. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five. Remember, we're counting ones. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Those are ten ones. Hmm, that looks like something that I know. That is the same as a stick of 10. Wow, they 
are the same. So 10 ones, do you see all those 10 ones? Are the same as my stick of 10. They are equal. 10 ones are equal to one 10 or one group of 10. All right. This is another way to represent our thinking. One ten or ten ones. They are the same. Today we're going to be really working on identifying the say ten way. So we're going to be talking about a number using tens and ones or only using ones. Watch as I model how to do both strategies. How many cubes do you see? Think. Whisper to yourself. I see. Tell me. I see. Okay. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I see thirteen cubes or thirteen ones. But I also see, hmm, I circled a group of ten. One, ten, and three ones. Thirteen is the same as one, ten, and three ones. Another way to say this is thirteen ones. We are going to continue practicing this idea moving forward. All right, take out those place value maps, okay? And go ahead and show. You can use your place value blocks and build it, or you can choose to draw with your whiteboard marker. Go ahead and use your place value mat now. Draw 15 using tens and ones. Good work. I did it for you, so make your board match mine. We are showing ten, um, 15 using tens and ones. All right, all right, good work. You're right, there's one ten and five ones. Make 15. Now, erase those boards. We're going to practice showing 15 using only ones. You can build it with me. I have 15 ones. Fifteen is the same as fifteen ones. Say that with me. Fifteen is the same as fifteen ones. Wow, we're showing numbers so many different ways. Reset your boards and go ahead and draw twenty-five in tens and ones. You can use your place value mat to also label how many tens are in 25 and how many ones are in 25. Go ahead and do that now. We are showing 25 using tens and ones. You got this. All right, let's check work. You should have two tens and five ones. Say this with me. 25 is the same as two tens and five ones. Okay, here we go. We just showed 25 using tens and ones. Now we're only going to show 25 using ones. Just using ones. So if you have your little cubes, you can use your little cubes and build 25 ones. If you don't have enough cubes, go ahead and draw 25 circles in the ones. Wow, that's a lot. You got it. Draw 25 ones. Make sure to put it in the ones place. All right, first grade, if you need more time, pause now. I'm going to show you my work. One, two, three, 
4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. I'm showing you 25 ones. 25 ones. Say this with me. 25 is the same as 25 ones. One more time. 25 is the same as 25 ones. Good work. Reset those boards. We're going to keep practicing. All right. Draw 31 using tens and ones. Look at the tens place to see how many tens 31 has. Then look at the ones place to see how many ones 31 has. Draw that now. Okay, if you need more time, pause. Otherwise, let's compare. 31 has one, two, three tens. Look at the ones, please. Now, I'm gonna show you the ones. It has one, one. 31, oop, doesn't have 25. <laughs> 31 has three tens and one, one. Okay, now draw 31 using ones only. Okay, draw 31 using ones only. Remember to look in the ones place, just the ones place. Draw those 31 ones. So you're gonna just draw little circles to show that they're ones. All right, let's compare. If you need more time, pause. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Whew. There are 31 ones and 31. Good job. Erase your boards. Let's practice one more. All right. Show me 27 in tens. In tens, so you're using the tens place and ones. Good work. All right, if you need more time, pause. Otherwise, let's compare. 27 has one, two, tens, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven ones. Go ahead and fill that out in your chart. 27 has two tens and seven ones. You betcha, erase your board. Keep up the good work. Now, we're going to be doing 27 in ones only. All right, focus. Remember, if you have two tens, that is the same as 20 ones. So go ahead and draw 27 ones. Good work. Let's compare 27 ones. 27 is the same as 27 ones. All right, first graders, here is your assignment. You are doing page 11 through 14 in your Eureka module three and four. Remember, you have to turn all the way to module four. So that means going past module three, all right? So make sure the top of your page looks like mine. I'm gonna do the first problem with you. Okay, let's count those. Oh, I see one ten and one two, two ones. One ten and two ones. That is the same as how many ones? 12 ones. Good work. All right, first graders, don't forget to do your assignments. 